it's never too easy to say goodbye to someone like you whom we adore and respect. This place will miss your charisma and vibrant presence. All that I can say is we truly wish you weren't leaving. So we started from a very small house where Mukesh used to stay at the ground floor and first floor we used to have office and we had like, like a nice sofa sets and all those and we pretty much kept a TV and whenever you feel like okay, uh, Mukesh and I and other team members used to go out and pretty much um, used to play cricket, come back, those kind of days where you used to have fun at the same time you used to work on, you were really engaged, passionate about the idea and we always wanted to grow faster and we wanted to create a very very big business. So in the time of B2B, we were less and less people. The company is so big and now we are out of the way. I am very sorry. So, God bless you, sir. You're the reason I joined Mintra. Um, and uh, you're the reason now I'm going to stay on as well. I think hopefully to carry on a lot of the legacy that you've built. I think the most important contribution you've made to me is I've actually become more fashionable. Um, on a more serious note though, uh, I think it's truly inspiring to see the culture that you've built in Mintra. Uh, the non-hierarchical nature of it, the problem solving that actually is, that you have allowed people to do. Your vision, your belief in, in your people, your value system that you percolated down into the organization has meant that all of us have moved into a system which is meant to achieve great heights. When I joined Mintra and you convinced me that we are off to something big, um, in uh, you know democratizing fashion and building a new fashion destination for the country and uh, we almost you know uh, already proved it that we can do it um, and uh, really enjoy it all through this uh, uh, building this together with you I've always looked up to you and not just because of our height difference but uh, I've learned a lot from you about how to think in an unadulterated manner as you leave, one of the things that will always remain with me is the question that no matter what is the circumstance, I'm sure I will find a lot of comfort by asking the question, what would Mukesh think and what would Mukesh do? He asked such a basic questions. At one point of time, I told Mukesh, Mukesh, I'm very surprised with your questions. You're a big reason why I came uh, to India and to Mintra. I still remember that cafe in Palo Alto when we met. And the first time I met you, you know, I was of course very impressed, but I thought you were crazy. Crazy in a really good way, where I could understand there was a lot of ambition, a lot of drive behind it. And you've proven that time and again at Mintra and at Flipkart uh, by doing big things. Some of the biggest inspirations I've drawn from uh, the initial days of management reviews, which uh, happened while we were setting up the Mintra fashion brand's business. You were always driving us to look at the bigger picture be really obsessed about customer experience and always do the right thing. You know, that's one thing we'll all miss. I am a sucker for scale now, thanks to you. I like doing things really fast, thanks to you. I like questioning status quo, thanks to you. Thanks to having seen you drive culture like no other CEO, like no other leader I've seen in my life. He taught all of us that a, that a great culture is not about, not about being polite or not about you know, not having conflicts, rather it's about being transparent. Uh, it's about putting everything else, everything that you have out there on the table and uh, not leaving any, anything for backroom chats or, uh, you know, conference room chats. Your uh, true identity, your uh, thought process, it's all reflected in the whole uh, Mintra culture and the Mintra way of doing things. And uh, I think that is what has kept a person like me, uh, this is my longest span in my 15 years working uh, career, to be working and coming back every day here, wanting to give my best every day. I would always give an opportunity, be with you, stick on to you all the time and learn much more things from you. You made me feel so comfortable working with you. You gave me an opportunity to work with you on different projects. Uh, you have played a vital role in terms of how you shape me as a person. I've learned a lot from him and there's so much to admire. 
every time i meet him i'm amazed at how brilliant he is and uh, how much life perspective he has and yet he has so much of humility and so much of groundedness wo mukesh sir aata hai wo door open nahi karta hai dusre log aane ke samay mein ye open karo aisa bolta hai mukesh sir aane se udhar hi chhup ke khada hota hai main open ke sorry sir bol is okay ma aisa bolta hai whenever you gave me a compliment about my work that used to be my happiest today i used to just grab on to it and take that compliment and treat myself with a cornito in 2011 when there was a newspaper article which claimed that all e-commerce companies were doing accounting frauds and the structures weren't really authentic you had really quashed all those rumors by sending out a detailed mail to all people to know that uh, there was no truth in the uh, allegations that were there early 2011 on the rooftop our daily run rate at that point in time was a lakh rupee sale uh, many of the meetings you know mukesh used to encourage us by telling us by 2015 we will become a billion dollar company some of us really didn't believe that but today in 2015 16 if i look back when many of us failed to see the larger picture visionaries like mukesh can see ahead of time you're an absolute superstar i remember when hrithik came to office some guys came over to get a selfie with you and in a, your characteristic humility you pointed them over to the next side and said hrithik is over there one specific thing that i remember which may seem small but very interesting for me was our visit to the stanford mall uh when you had gone to pick a bag for your trip back to india it was very clear how discerning you were how thoughtful you were around picking that bag which you were going to use only for once i think to go back to india in the end i you ended up choosing a tumi bag i believe but i could understand through that interaction you had a sense of purpose and a sense of fashion around everything you did in the mintra premier league mukesh was batting and i was bowling to him and he defended a lot of balls and one of the balls i actually got closer to him and when he, he bowled to me in the later half of the innings and he got me out through a brilliant catch which he took himself and the way he celebrated and he gave me a good send off that is something i'll remember really sad to see you go um, i've always associated mintra with mukesh so it's going to be strange uh, to not have you here um, wish you the very best in everything you do i'm looking forward to see how you disrupt another industry with technology just like you have disrupted fashion cheers to wishing you lots of luck for anything that you're going to do in the future i'm sure it'll be amazingly successful thanks for all the support you have been providing us for the past 5 odd years mukesh i think you're meant to do great things in life you are such a great human being person i never met before we are all miss you sir wish you all the best to your future Wish you all the best for your future. Here's wishing you all the best. We will miss Mukesh. We wish you all the best from CC for your future endeavor. I still feel that you'll come. You'll do your work. I'll get to see you one off day somewhere in one of our buildings. Mukesh, we, we will miss you. Miss you. And for, for sure, sure you will also miss us. miss us. We miss you Mukesh, all the best. Please don't go. Uh, it's been an awesome inspiration having you around. Looking forward to hear that you've decided not to leave.